expect to give you the legal edge. Michigan's auto insurance laws. We are still a no-fault state, and in most cases, you look to your own insurance company for coverage after a crash. But as attorney Brian Welvin explains, there are some instances where you can bring a lawsuit against the driver who's at fault. And one of those claims is a claim against a driver who causes damage to your motor vehicle, your car or your truck. Before the changes in the law, that claim was capped at damages of $1,000. Now you can sue for up to $3,000 in property damage to your car or truck to the extent that it's not covered by insurance already. Okay. Um, what if we don't know who's at fault or it's just not clear? Michigan has what's known as comparative fault, which means if you are going to receive damages for the harm that's been caused due to someone else's negligence, it's pay paid in proportion to their fault. So if there's a crash, and someone is deemed to be 25% at fault, they would still receive 75% of their damages. So if you opt not to have collision coverage and you've got $5,000 in property damage, you can sue the other driver if they're at fault and receive up to $3,000. If you have collision insurance, but let's say you have a $1,000 deductible, you can sue for up to that $1,000 deductible. What does this mean if you have a car with a value of less than $3,000 you might want to consider not paying for the collision insurance? Well, that might be a factor, Siobhan, but there's likely other important factors. Collision insurance, again, is optional. Mm -hmm. You want to keep in mind that you could be at fault for a crash, and will you be able to repair your car or replace it if it gets totaled out? Right. And then, you know, you also have to look at what is the cost of collision insurance. It tends to be one of the more expensive parts of an auto insurance policy. And so if you've got a car that, that doesn't have a significant value, it may make sense not to cover collision. A tragic thing I see frequently, Siobhan, is, is people don't realize that when they buy their collision coverage, they say, I have full coverage, and they don't realize that collision coverage, when your car's totaled out, pays you the value of the vehicle at the time it's totaled out, not what you owe on the car. So someone goes into a dealership, they make a small down payment, they take out a big loan, the minute they drive it off the lot, it depreciates significantly in value. And then they get in a crash, the car is totaled out. They get some money from their insurance company, but not nearly enough to pay off the loan. And that's still their obligation. They need to keep making payments, even though they don't have the car anymore. So what do you do in that case? Just make sure that you don't take out a real big loan.